Hey everyone, I am about to head out to the garden now because I just looked at the forecast and I found out that we're gonna have our first freeze tonight. It's early in the morning right now and I wanted to document this so I know I look back and also for next year we know when the, la the first first of this year was. So I am going and I obviously have work to get done in the garden because I have been, I'm not saying, I don't want to say procrastinating but delaying the fact of taking my tomatillos down and all the tender plants down in there because they're still doing okay. The beans, I already took them out of the trellis because they really suffer from the cold and it kind of started shriveling and I just and dying so I already took them out. But the tomatillos were doing alright. They had a lot of fruit in them and I had made so much salsa already I wanted to wait a bit more but now it's time. I can't wait. I have to go there and they care of all the tender plants that will die with the frost. There's some nasturtiums in there that I want to bring in inside so I can use in salads this week. I have to harvest the tomatillos and I'm going to cut the plants because it's not looking so nice and put it in the compost because they didn't get sick or anything and all that. There are some frost hardy plants in there too. I have some lettuces growing on my green stalk. They'll be okay. I have a cover for a green stalk but Let's see how long it will take me to do this video, but mostly what I'm trying to do today is I'm going to heavily mulch the beds because I have things growing in there and I want to protect the soil as much as I can with leaves that I got from the park. They told me it was fine to grab leaves from there. So I just collected some leaves from park nearby, put it in a bag and I'm going to use them to mulch my garden. And I want to put a very thick layer. I have already started doing that over the weekend, so one side of my garden, I'll show that when I go outside. But the plan for today is putting the leaves down, take harvesting everything that's not going to survive tomorrow and see how the garden is going to be in the morning. I, If I have time on this video because I'm doing this in the morning and I have to get on with my day but I really wanted to do this on the day off because you know, it's time sensitive. I can't push the frost for when I'm less busy on schedule but, but I want to do this today because I really want to put this content by the frost date so I will film today and tomorrow because I want to see how the garden did and I'm probably going to be that's when you're going to be seeing this but if I have time I'll cover them if not uh, I'll at least do all the mulching all the harvesting and show where the covers will go and when I come back from work which will be already dark uh, I will put the covers up and everything if I feel it needs it, it depends I'm kind of debating because everything is frost hardy in there and it's not gonna get super cold tonight so it's gonna be the first night before below 32 so we will I will decide but first let me get ahead with the most urgent matters of the garden which is harvesting what I can salvage and making sure to protect the soil for the freeze that's coming so this is how the garden looks before I start getting work done. This is the tomatillos that I have to all harvest. I got harvest some of the scale too. Even though the kale is hardy, I want to eat it. And I'm gonna, I already have started taking some things down this side and over the weekend and I put some leaves over. I'm gonna try to cover the side with leaves as well. I have already set up the hoops but I haven't, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the cover tonight or not. This first frost we need it. And on the green stalks, the lettuces are going to be okay, the oregano is going to be okay, carrots going to be okay, all these forest hardy things will be alright. The nasturtium will not be okay unfortunately, so I'll have, I'm going to harvest all of this to add to our salads this week. And potatoes, I have a big potato in there, it was just an experiment. Uh, it's not going to survive, so I might bring it in just for the night. And a lot of baby potato in here too. They're really nice even though it's cold, but I'm also going to bring it in for the night, I think. If I leave them out, even covered, they won't survive, probably die. And that's mostly it, and some kale and everything in there. I have a cover for one of these green stalks with the supports. I don't think I'm going to do it tonight already, but I'm definitely taking out everything that will not survive the frost. I've been harvesting everything. So I got everything I could reach and now I'm gonna just go around.
This is what I got so far. Now I'm just gonna have a Siskiyo here. I was getting a lot of kale on my CSA box, so I didn't harvest kale from my garden. And then they, there's a lot now. And some of the leaves broke and touched the ground. So I'm removing the little yellow spots and put it here in this leaf pile. It's gonna compost in place. But now I'm gonna take this out for eating this week. The CSA box is stopped last Friday. What, are the, what kind of greens are those? Those are kale. Oh! That's a dino kale, last month of kale. Okay, so you have the habit house given greens right there. Yeah, oh, it's that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you take care. Take care, have a good day. Uh, you too now. I was actually very excited to harvest this leek. It's been growing here for a long time, so let's see how it's looking. Oh, very nice. I did mount it a lot of soil because I wanted to make it to bleach it, but that's a really good size one. Look at that. It's happy. It'd be nice. This thing here, I mean, it looks a little, I will just peel off there. Look how they lay it. I have to put a camera down so I can clean a bit of this one before putting in my basket. I look how nice this looks. Beautiful. While I was walking here, just noticed that also I missed to get a few peppers. I still have to go to the pot. So I'm gonna harvest this beautiful nasturtium here. I take down these dead leaves and put it back in the soil but most of the nice ones will be used for salads and I might even dehydrate some to use over the winter. Mustard in the mix here. Actually, still harvesting. I don't know how this basil survived this long, but this is the the remaining of my basil that was also in the raised bed. There's so many, so much things in here yet that I still that I missed. Oh my god! So pulling out this was much harder than I thought. You really find through the fence over there, and look at how many. And I kind of I did cut the bot the base of it, so I cut it down by the base there, and then pulled it out. But it was really vined and entangled into that mesh that I had put in there. Kind of broke the sunflower pole, but the cave is safe. That's what I was afraid of possible damaging, but it's all right. More to my thieves. So I had a random bean going here, and look how perfectly climbed up this pole. If I take it down it's gonna die too but phew that was a lot of work. So this is looking like a mess but I'm just gonna finish covering this with leaves and now the beds are all covered that also help keep it a little warmer for them. And then I have the hoop set up so I would just later cover them with frost fabric that I same one I used last year. This is now how the garden looks. This guy's over here. 
cook with it for the week. Leeks, nice amount of kale, beer from the starch and some basil. I got some mustard leaves too, and all the tomatillos. You can get over how pretty those are. Now I still have to go to the pot. This is how my little pantry looks right now. And it's the end of the garden season. But I gotta steal some more hanging to do with the new things that I got. And I gotta can some tomatillo salsa. I think I haven't canned any salsa yet. I was just making to eat fresh since we don't produce as much living in this little apartment. But very happy, pretty proud of this little, what the garden provided to us this year. Yeah, I'm in the plot right now and I have bought the leftover bag of leaves with me to put it over here and I will show you guys there's still a few things growing here too there's some flowers they're all gonna die I don't have time to harvest them and take but I will at least put some leaves where I can and more in the compost and put the tomato plant in the compost over there those peas the cover crop we were intended to be killed by the frost so it, it might not even kill them this first one because they're frost hardy but I think there's a few peppers around there that I can harvest too and that would be it for here. Okay, so I definitely couldn't get as much done here as I did at my front yard. Well, those guys are gonna have to take care of it after the frost, but I mainly wanted to bring my tomato plant there and put the compost, those leaves in there. There's some broccoli here from my neighbor, but I can't, I don't have the mess. And then maybe she will cover them, I'm not sure. This is now, but that's it. I will have to let it be and we'll see how this will look like tomorrow. It's the next morning now, early in the morning. I just came to check in the garden and everything looks fine. I picked out of my window before I came here. This guy looks a little sad, but it looks a little frozen even. But it will hopefully will pick back up. And even lavender is doing fine, it's hardy. Kill, it's doing fine. Forgot to put the potatoes back, I was so busy yesterday. I just let them in here. It's really still frozen. Everyone in the guys' bed looks good though. These guys will look a little droopy, but they will come back. Nothing looks frosty, so it was this a night that it was below. 32 it was at 30 last night. This kid looks normal. <laughs> Same with the peas. Doesn't look like it took any beating in it. So that was it. That's good. Even though it was not a really bad frost, I just wanted to show how I would prepare the garden for frost. If I knew snow was coming, I would definitely have put some covers in there and covered some of this. This is the cauliflower that's in pot. I also did not suffer with the cold and the scale. But this nasturtium survived. It's interesting. Sometimes tender plants will survive a very light freeze. But here it is. Carrots didn't even bother. Think fell over there but it fits. Oh, the plot right now, it is really cold today, for me at least. Everything for the most part still looks okay in here too. I can see that the peppers definitely got a little drooping there. These marigolds didn't like the cold very much, you know, the leaves kind of turned. And these peppers here are a little sad too. But this guy, this broccoli in here looks fine. It didn't get covered or anything. It just left as as is, and it just looks beautiful actually. And the peppers here also look a little droopy. It's not time for them to be out anymore, so I'm gonna probably have to pull these plants out and put it in the compost. Peas still look great. So if they start flowering, and 
I know the fr frost doesn't come and kill it. I'm going to have to cut it and just lay it up on the ground because that's when I can get the most amount of nutrition from the nitrogen from this piece in there. But that's it. This marigold didn't seem to hurt so much. And uh, try to, this is Thanksgiving week, so we're busy. But I'm glad that I could at least put some of this stuff to bed. When I have some extra time, I'll come here, take care of the rest of the tender plants that shouldn't be here anymore, and see what I'm going to do with these pea plants. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope this information was helpful. And if you have any tips about how, what you do to winterize your garden or how do you prepare your garden before the frost, please make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear. And also comment where you're watching this from. That will be very helpful. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time.